talk about eggs. Sure, sure. What do you need to talk mm -hmm. about? <laughs> yeah, I mean, people eat eggs, chicken eggs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do. They eat chicken eggs. Um, I, I guess uh, if, in relation to if I consume them or not, uh, yeah. you know, I what? don't I don't consume them. Yeah, what's wrong about eggs? Um, the eggs, I mean, what's right about them? That's a better question. What's good about eggs? You know, why, why do we feel that we need to eat the bodily secretions of another animal? I mean, that's, that's the best question to ask. So as far as what's wrong with it, you know, you have to realize that the amount of toxicity that is produced when we consume them stays into our bodies and, and it stays in there for who knows how long, but it's going to cause kind of like a, uh, a constipation, you can say, some sort of blockage. It's unnecessary. You don't need to eat it. And it's when you cook it, obviously, you're destroying the enzymes. You're destroying all the, the nature of it. I'm not going to say nutrients, but the nature of it. So when you consume it, it's really an unnatural substance to put in the body. And even then, when it's inside the body, it takes a lot of effort to force it out of your body. Excess amount of cholesterol, fats, you know, bad fats. Um, people say good and bad fats. Really, it's just bad fats. Um, the excess protein as well is going to cause kidney damage and other problems with your body. And it's just completely unnecessary. I mean, it's glue, it's a very sticky substance when you break an egg and and do you really want glue inside your body? I mean, think about it. You don't need to put that in there. I'd rather have fresh, sweet, beautiful, ripe fruit versus an egg. You know, today when I was uh, talking about being healthier and someone brought up the subject, well, I, I saw on some news clippings, I'm a 115-year-old woman, you know, and they said all she eats is this raw egg and ham or some, some ridiculous nonsense like that. It's obvious to me that that response is a reflex answer and also the quality of life and also the smell. I said it, that must be the most horrible smelling human being that ever you know, lived on this planet. But sadly, many people eat this stuff and they are smelling as repulsive as someone, anybody who would eat eggs. Rotten eggs. Think about the smell of rotten eggs. It's gross. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what are eggs really? I mean, eggs are the bodily releases, secretions of the, the female um, you know, the chicken, the hen. Yeah, so are they like the, the chicken babies inside? If they're fertilized, they'll be they'll be chicken babies inside, yes. The embryo and everything else up to the stage of, of having a chick. If they're not fertilized, you know, they are still the bodily secretions of, of the female, um, you know, the hen, the chicken. And so... Why does, she, why does the hen do that? Well, it's releasing excess substances from the body, just like we release excess substances. For the female human, you know, she has a menstruation and so forth. She releases what she needs to get out of her body. It's sort of like the body detoxifying itself. At the same time, when the when the eggs release, from what I've understood, for people that have had quote unquote pet chickens and pet hens, you know, the chicken does break and eat the the egg for herself. So in so, so many ways, it's almost like she has excess minerals and excess nutrients for herself. So much that when a, a human takes her eggs that are unfertilized. Her behavior is to peck and to attack and to act really flustered when someone steals her eggs. It, it's really, we're taking something that's not even ours, and for not even for our own consumption. We can't consume it as efficiently as she could. Mm -hmm. So where else are we stealing stuff from animals? Oh, we have uh, honey. We steal honey. Honey is regurgitated. It's vomited, um, the nectar and so forth, and concentrated sugar from the bees, which means for its future generation. So it's a bee vomit? Absolutely, it's bee vomit. Okay, and we're stealing bee vomit? Yeah, we're, well, how crazy behavior is that? We're stealing bee vomit, we're stealing milk from babies, we're stealing, you know, bodily secretion from eggs. It's like we've created, we've become some really degenerated Hollywood monster or something out of a Aesop's fable or Grimm's fairy tale. <laughs> and we're, we're disgusting monsters right now. Okay, so what about, let's talk about mi milk. What's wrong about milk? Oh, milk is based. What's wrong with it? I and mean, what's right about it? Nothing. It's it's basically we're stealing milk from a baby, a baby cow, also known as a calf, um, or a child. We're stealing milk from a child, and of course, the process of getting that milk involves taking a, a female cow, oftentimes around the age of one, even or a little after one. And um, what they do is they masturbate a, a male bull, the, the the male of the species. They they masturbate it, and when they masturbate it, they collect the semen. When they collect the semen. The man, oftentimes man, I don't know, maybe there's, there's females that do this now, but the man will collect the semen and then they will force their, their body once the female is put into a, into a machine or actually a contraption called a rape rack that the dairy industry uses that holds her still or as still as they can while they force uh, continuously force their, their arm into her anus and into her vagina. Um, and you know, it's just it's the craziest, disgusting Why do they behavior. do that? For what? Um, to impregnate her and when she's impregnated once a, a female's impregnated she can start producing milk after she delivers the calf and so forth and they want to 
perpetual. So animals pregnant. no longer have intercourse in order to get pregnant? Not not the bred cow. So basically people are paying or having been paid um, bestiality. They're basically paying people to have you know, sexual relationships with animals. That's that what is so do. weird. Oh my yeah, god. Pe people eat so, and pay for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've seen it in the movie Earthling, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's on the list of movies to, to be seen in the Absolutely have to watch it, yeah. yeah. You unless you want to keep it kept in the dark, then then don't watch it. But if you wanna wake up and expose yourself to reality, watch Earthlings. That'll expose you to everything we do. Um, this is what we do to cows. We do very bad things to chickens and pigs and mm -hmm. every animal that we use to eat. There's no necessary So what is colostrum? Yeah, there's so much said about the benefits of colostrum. Oh, well, what is colostrum? It's a waste. Some raw food gurus actually sell colostrum. Yeah, it's it's. I wouldn't even imagine putting it into my body. What I'd say is that it's not meant for you. It's obviously not human colostrum, and uh, it's just a way to exploit another being. So uh, it's the first m milk from the for the newborn cow. Yeah, it's just it's just so not. It's a meant theft, for us. big time. It's theft. It's the most craziest kind of theft. It's injustice, and at the same time, it's not even nutrients for ourselves. It's meant for another species, a completely different species. Yeah, are human beings the only species that are stealing stuff from other species? I'm sure. No, no, that's not true. There's parasites. There's scavengers. I mean, oh, how optimistic! Terrible, terrible animals. The parasites that live off of others, and well, not terrible. It's not fair to say, but they have a symbiotic relationship with the animals and so forth. But with the humans, we're the only ones that collect, kidnapped that that I've known of, kidnap, mutilate, brand, beat, mock, sexually um, have sexual relationships with other children, animals. And, um, and then we even eat their flesh, but we can't even eat their flesh without constantly manipulating with chemical processes, with, um, with displacing the oxygen through cooking, through chemicals, through seasoning. We don't even like the taste of meat. If we like the taste of meat, we would always eat it fresh from an animal, right from its hide. But we can't eat through the, through the skin. No human can eat through their skin, through their hair, through their fur, through their vessels, through their bones, through their fat. We're not designed for that. Um, so we have to have a, a huge process to even be convinced and manipulated to eat it. I mean, we have a ch I saw a child uh, eat a cheeseburger yesterday, and the, the child had sickness today, but the child ate the cheeseburger had no idea that it was an animal. And only today watched uh, Earthlings, some of the Earthlings and the child, they didn't really want to watch the movie Earthlings because they don't want to accept Yeah, he was screaming. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's we, we, we don't even know what we put in our mouths. How, how disturbing is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, so what else is wrong with milk? I don't even know what's right with it. Nothing, nothing with milk is, is right. I mean, we're, mm -hmm. we're an adult. There's no adult animal that needs to be continuously eating the milk of another animal or our own animal. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Even as human beings, we finish yeah. drinking breast milk and we're done. We don't need milk. Exactly. We just don't mm -hmm. don't have the we don't have the interest anymore. Is it true that fruit and fruit are very much like 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 our mother's milk? Possibly, it's nourishing and, and you definitely don't need to be convinced to, to manipulate it, season the process, to, uh, deplete it of its oxygen. You just take the fruit, put it in your mouth and it's a sweet source. I mean, as far as a seed goes, seed is life. Seed becomes a plant, plant becomes a tree oftentimes or another plant. But, um, but the plant itself, the seed, is nourished by the fruit. Think about how cool it is that the fruit is, is nourishing the seed or doing what it needs to and sometimes it, it requires the activities of another species even a man or chimpanzees or monkeys or birds will peck at it sometimes they'll eat some seeds in it and they'll when they do release their excrement the excrement you know becomes the plant i mean birds will eat figs let's say and the figs the seeds that they do consume and that can turn into uh the plants it's a possibility mm -hmm. yeah awesome thank you so much oh you're welcome thank you very much